Amphetamine is a CNS stimulant and sympathomimetic agent indicated for the treatment of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD. In this video, let's find found. What is amphetamine? What is amphetamine used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking amphetamine? How does amphetamine work? How to use amphetamine? What is amphetamine? Amphetamine is a central nervous system stimulant that is used in the treatment of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, narcolepsy, and obesity. Amphetamine was discovered as a chemical in 1887 by Lazar Adelianu, and then as a drug in the late 1920s. Amphetamine belongs to the phenethylamine class. It is also the parent compound of its own structural class, the substituted amphetamines, which includes prominent substances such as bupropion, cathinone, MDMA, and methamphetamine. What is amphetamine used for? Amphetamine is indicated for the treatment of attention deficit slash hyperactivity disorders, ADHD, as well as for the treatment of central nervous system disorders such as narcolepsy. ADHD is a complex disorder associated with the substantial heterogeneity in etiology, presentation, and treatment outcome. ADHD comes from a complex interplay between interdependent genetic and non-genetic factors which cause complex mental disorders in children and teenagers. On the other hand, narcolepsy is a chronic sleep disorder typically present during adolescence and characterized by excessive time sleepiness. Amphetamine is also being used nowadays off-label for the treatment of obesity, depression, and chronic pain. Contraindication Sensitivity to amphetamines or their derivatives Cardiovascular disease or arteriosclerosis, a thickening or hardening of artery walls Moderate to severe hypertension or high blood pressure A tendency to become agitated Side effects Agitation Anxiety Bladder pain Bloody or cloudy urine Crying Delusions of persecution, mistrust, suspiciousness, or combativeness Difficult, burning, or painful urination False or unusual sense of well-being Feeling of unreality Frequent urge to urinate Lower back or side pain Mental depression. Nervousness. Quick to react or overreact emotionally. Rapidly changing moods. Sense of detachment from self or body. Less common. Chills. Cough. Fever. Hoarseness. Pharmacodynamic. From its mechanism of action, it has been demonstrated that amphetamine augments the concentration of noradrenaline in the prefrontal cortex and dopamine in the striatum on a dose and time-dependent manner. The indistinct release of neurotransmitters, which include adrenaline, is known to produce cardiovascular sex. There are old reports of a cognitive enhancement related to the administration of amphetamine in which improvements in intelligence test scores were reported. In ADHD, Amphetamine has been largely shown to produce remarkable improvements in school performance, behavior, and demeanor. The effect was shown to be through both racemic forms, and to this date, the use of racemic forms 3, 1, D, L, is very common. The therapeutic effect of amphetamine on serotonin does not seem to have a significant clinical effect on ADHD as observed on comparative studies with amphetamine and fenfluramine, a powerful serotonin releasing factor. However, the indirect effect on serotonin might have an effect on the depression and anxiety profile of ADHD. Studies regarding the illicit use of amphetamine in which heavy consumers were studied proved the generation of a paranoid state which flagged this drug as a psychiatric danger compound. Observation was supported by the continuous reports of misuse in patients under depression. Mechanism of Action it is important to consider that amphetamine has a very similar structure to the catecholamine neurotransmitters, mainly on the presence of a long planar conformation, the presence of an aromatic ring and nitrogen in the aryl side chain. Amphetamine, as well as other catecholamines, is taken into presynaptic terminals by the association with two sodium ions and one chloride ion. 
The complex of the amphetamine with the ions is actively transported by monoamine reuptake transporters. As amphetamine acts competitively with the endogenous monoamines, the greater the number of amphetamines, the more internalized amphetamine will be The mechanism of action of amphetamine is complemented by the inhibition of the reuptake and of monoamine oxidase, which acts synergistically to produce a significant increase in the monoamine concentration. This activity is not done as an inhibitor per se, but more as a competitive substrate and thus, amphetamine is not a weak dopamine reuptake inhibitor, moderate noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor, and very weak serotonin reuptake inhibitor. From this specific action, the L-isomer is known to be significantly less potent. Lastly, amphetamine is known to be an inhibitor of the mitochondrial bound enzyme MAO, which is the catalytic enzyme charge of degrading all the excessive neurotransmitters. This mechanism of action is often overpassed as amphetamine is a weak MAO inhibitor, but this mechanism cannot be dismissed. Half-life The half-life of amphetamine highly depends on the isomer. For D-amphetamine, the reported half-life is of approximately 9 to 11 hours, while for L-amphetamine the half-life is reported to be of 11 to 14 hours. The urine pH can modify this pharmacokinetic parameter, which can vary from 7 hours in acid urine to 34 hours for alkaline urine. Dose. Narcolepsy. 5 to 60 mg slash day PO in divided doses, depending on the individual patient response. Administer at the lowest effective dose, individually adjust dosage. Obesity. Indicated as a short term, a few weeks, adjunct in a red weight reduction based on caloric restriction for patients refractory to alternative therapy, for example, repeated diets, group programs, and other drugs. Usual dosage is up to 30 mg daily, taken in divided doses of 5 to 10 mg, 30 to 60 minutes, before meals. Admit the lowest effective dose, individually adjust dosage. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder Indicated for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, in adolescents and adults. Adzenes XRODT, 12.5 mg, POQAM. Adzenes ER, 12.5 mg, POQAM. Dianavil XR, 2.5 to 5 mg, POQAM may increase by 2.5 minus 10 mg slash day Q4-7 days, not to exceed 20 mg per day. Evicchio, 5 mg POQ day or Q12 air, may increase by 5 mg Q week until optimal response is obtained, not to exceed 40 mg per day. Safety Advice Amphetamines are pregnancy category C, prior to 2015, category C. Animal reproduction studies have shown an adverse effect on the fetus, but no adequate and well-controlled studies in humans. Potential benefits may warrant use in women who are pregnant. That's all the information about amphetamine we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.